What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. So today, um, I'm really excited to show you guys about um, what I have on the table. Now, so this is my brand new homemade TCG. It's called Spirits of Unforgotten Legends, aka Souls TCG. And uh, yeah, as you guys know or you don't know, I have uploaded the announcement trailer video, um, I think, uh, last week. So for those who haven't watched it, you guys can pause this video and head to my channel and watch that trailer video and come back in so you guys will have a better understanding of what this card game is all about. To summarize it, um, Souls TCG is based on a heroic and historical person that used to have a huge contribution for humanity and both the world and their souls have reincarnated and became spirits that live in a spiritual world called Aftervale. Vale. So yeah, the spirits will be the, you guys will call it monsters or cards that you use to battle your opponent. As you guys can see, we have six uh, soul societies. For example, in um, Vanguard, you have clans and body fight, you have uh, worlds. But for uh, Souls TCG, we call it Soul Society. So out of the six um, Soul Societies, I am only going to show one of them, which is the first one, Fancy Yord. So the other five, I will leave it to the next video because yeah, there's a lot to show and I don't really want to uh, squeeze everything in one video and it's, it's going to be too compact and too much to uh, digest. Okay, so here it is, the uh, Fencer Your uh, Cards, which is the first ever Soul Society card that I make for this game. So before we begin, let's take a short look about the history of the Society of Primitivity, Fencer Your. Alright, so that's basically the brief explanation and history or lore about the society Fencer Yord. So to put it easy, um, it's a society based on something that's inspired by ancient Egypt. There's ancient uh, civilization and construction and innovation and lots of more stuff that you can think of that is heavily inspired by the ancient Egypt. Next, we're going to take a look at the cards. So, in Souls DCG, there's different uh, type of card. We have Soul Society card, which is this one, and Spirit cards, which has three different stages. I'll explain right now. So, if you see the top of the card, you have a Japanese kanji. I know lots of you guys uh, can't read uh, Japanese kanji, so I will put it in an easier way. So, there's three stages. We have the lowest one, which is uh, stage te, and there is the second stage, which is he, and the strongest, the third stage, which is otsu. So to put it easier for those who don't understand uh, Chinese or uh, Japanese kanji, just assume it to be stage C, B, and A. Yeah, it's that simple. So. Um, these are just the sequence for Japanese, which is first the lowest one, which is te, and the second one he, and the third one otsu. So it's just basically stage C, B, A in English, just that. So other than the spirit cards, we'll have this. So this is called scroll cards. So in this game, we use special. Um, I would say items, which is called uh, scrolls, which I will showcase to you guys in just a bit. So now for the first card we'll take a look is this one. This one is what I said earlier, it's the Soul Society cards for Fenta Yorn, obviously. And in each card you will see uh, something called curse. So curse is basically like what you call um, abilities or spells or skill, but in Soul DCG we call it curse. So for the rules or the how the ability works, I'm not going to go through like in depth because there will be a gameplay tutorial video coming real soon in the future. So we will go through the curses in depth in the future video. But for now, we're just gonna look 
through the overall design and the description of the card. So, first one we have Fenta Yord, which has a curse that reads When the Fenta Yord spirit is incarnated on the soul zone, boost its attack by 100 for once until your turn ends. So, yeah, it's basically a card to boost your spirits. Quite uh, useful. Next, we're gonna take a look at stage uh, D, stage C spirit. So first we have the key spirit for Venter Yord. So key is basically like um, in Vanguard you have an avatar like the signature uh, unit or monster card for that specific theme. So first one we have Arco, which has a HP of 530 and for each spirit card you have a century which is the number of turns you have to set the cards before you play it in battle yeah so this is the century so for arco it has only one century so it means you can instant play it and it has three attacks as well as other uh, spirits we have attack one two and three attack one it has 370 attack two 240 and attack three 130 and it has a curse that reads choose a spirit and boost its power by 100 next one we have Sure. so Sure has an HP of 550 one century and it has attack 1 340 attack 2 200 and attack 3 150 and the curse reads if your foe have a small soul than you recover your main spirit health by 100 then we have snake crawl so snake crawl has an hp of 570 one century and for the attack it has attack 1 300 attack 2 210 and attack 3 120 and it has a curse that reads when the spirit is harvested from the soul zone draw a card so that is it for uh, level C, so level T. Next we have stage H or stage uh, B if you guys want to call it. We have the first one, Billum that has HP of 650, 1 century and attack 1, 500, attack 2, 200 and attack 3, 260. And its curse reads, during your battle phase if the number of your harvested soul is lesser than your foe, boost your selected attack by 200 so means that in this game you need to use a dice to choose and select it to get an attack to decide which attack that you use to battle your opponent so in this case whatever attack that you have get whether it's one two or three add 200 to the selected attack which ultimately boosts the attack power for the spirit next we have collect so collect we have HP of 670, 1 century, and it's attack, attack 1, 530, attack 2, 350, and attack 3, 270, and its curse reads, discard this spirit to cause free incarnate a stage here or below spirit from your hand. So this is a basically uh, help you to uh, instant call or instant play a spirit card from your hand without paying any cost so it's i mean it's quite useful because you can instant play without uh waiting too much too many turns and um it strengthens your field so the last level here we have tripod so tripod has an hp of 610 one century and attack one 510 attack two to 320 attack three 220 and it skirts reads if you get attack 3 during your battle phase decrease all of your foes attack by 100 during the next turn so that's it for level here so next we have stage uh, Otsu so first we have Kamum so Kamum has an HP of a whopping 990 which is really really high and it has 2 Zenjiri which means you have to set for two turns before you play this card because obviously it's quite strong so for its attack attack one we have 700 attack two 480 and attack three is double of your foes attack three so it's kind of like uh, 
uh, all or nothing uh, card that counters counter attack your opponent. Then we have the next level Otsu, Fintom, which has uh, quite a high HP too. It has 960 HP, one century, and its attacks is attack 1, 650, attack 2, 360, and attack 3, 200, and its curse reads. If this spirit harvests a soul from your foe, choose a card from your foe's hand and discard it. Next one we have here is, as I mentioned earlier, the scroll cards. So each scroll has different abilities and it can only be used based on its representative soul society. So first one we have scroll of zest that requires two centuries and its curse reads, during your battle phase, double all the attacks of the selected spirit until the battle is over. So basically this is a card for attack boost. Next we have Scroll of Ethereal. So it also needs two centuries to play and its curse is if the health of your main spirit is less than half, recover its health by 200. So obviously this is uh, for HP healing. And yeah, that's basically it for Fanta Yorit. So um, it's been a while since I showcased any of my homemade uh, card game as complex as this. So I kind of have some difficulties to explain everything. But I hope you guys um, actually enjoy and understand uh, all what's going on, like the cards, the curse, and so the stages and the other stuff. Um, don't worry if you guys don't understand or you are still confused about what this game is all about because we have more videos in the future that covers every single thing you need to know about uh, Souls TCG. So yeah, that's basically it for this time's video. If you guys enjoy and like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. So if you guys want any updates, feel free to follow my Instagram. It will be at the description down below. And for next episode, we are going to cover the second Soul Society, which is Goldilock. So make sure you don't miss out. And yeah, that's all I have for uh, today. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.